blue collar life. Not everyone in life gets to be a movie star or a pro athlete. A lot of us are going to have manual labor jobs. And there's nothing wrong with that. In September, I've been at this job for eight years. And I actually like this job a lot. I just can't stand the managers. I like two out of 12 managers here. Hopefully they change out managers in the next year. You know those uh, surveys you take at your job? Do you guys have to take that? They ask you how happy you are at your job. I gave all ones. The only five I gave was, do you have a best friend at work? I put five. My best friend's right there. So that's it. I gave all ones on the survey. But that's just lately that I can't stand the managers here. Since like November 2011. Hopefully things change with these surveys. They probably won't though. But I still have hope. So the last eight years I have accomplished a lot. Here's one of my accomplishments. I don't get money as fast as a doctor would. See, not everyone in life gets to be a doctor too. If we were all programmed internally to become doctors and we were all doctors, then no one's going to do this, right? So I was looking at this van for sale and I'll let you pause it if you want. All right, right there. Pause it. Read it. So, this is a nice van actually. Let's take a quick look at the price. 120,000 miles and he wants 12,000 for it. Yeah, 12,000 listed a week ago. This van has a lot of potential. You know what I would do, right? Lift kit. But there it is. And then you look at the interior. The interior is, um, is hollow. It's a nice starting base. There you go. So it hasn't, ev hasn't even been fixed up yet. Here's my van interior. Well, it's dark here. Go ahead and take a quick look right now. There you go. There's my interior. Okay, so this guy says he's a college student. Here's the thing. Is he going to school for a degree? that will benefit him in life. I'm very proud of my sister and my brother-in-law. They both have college degrees. My brother-in-law is an accountant. My sister works with the life insurance, just insurance in general, and they're doing great in life. See, my brother-in-law, every time he's frustrated with his job, he just moves to a different office and he gets hired right away. His degree is valuable. So the question is, that guy who's selling his van, what degree is he working on? Is he going to do something that's going to benefit his life? And later in life, he will um, have a nice, comfortable living? Or is he or is he going to get one of those arts degree? You know those degrees. Those degrees that you get a piece of paper and then you brag to everyone you're highly educated. But you're fifty dollars to $100,000 in debt because no one wants to hire you because... They don't care about your arts degree. If that's the case, if that guy's going for one of those degrees just to show off that he's highly educated, he should just keep his van and not go to school. Get a manual labor job. You never know. If you've never had a manual labor job, you never know. You might enjoy it. Here's the thing, man. As badly as I'm treated at this job, I actually enjoy it here. I'm never stressed. I just get annoyed, but I'm just an intense individual. So I hope that one day management changes in the next year, hopefully. But, you know, I'm also um, with myself. I'm also thinking about my own goals. But let's let's talk about this college thing real quick. So this guy, right, he has a nice van. He has a nice van that's a nice canvas right now. This van has so much potential. The interior's hollow. It looks good. Lift kit. It's, it's got the cool rims, roof rack, ladder. Man, if you would just lift that thing, it'll look good. He could have a lot of fun, go out on a lot of adventures. So if that guy's thinking about getting one of those worthless degrees 
that's gonna get him 50 to 100 grand in debt. I really hope he doesn't. Just gets a job, works hard, saves his money, do well in life. The longer you stay at one place, you know, the more money you'll make. So hopefully the guy makes the right decision and he's not going to get a worthless degree or goes to a trade school. Electricians, plumbers, um, ventilation like AC, like those jobs, those jobs are always needing people. And um, mechanics, that's what I worry about in the future. The guy who worked on my van, who changed the spark plugs on my van, I have a video of him. And I told him in my interview, like he's the expert of these modular engines. In my interview, I'm like, man, how many more years do you think you you got? And he's like, at least 10. And even that makes me worried, man. I'm like, man, do you got any apprentices? Because who's going to work on our van someday? Same with the diesel mechanics. There's always a need for diesel mechanics. So think about that before you get one of those arts degrees. So for me, like I said, I'm very grateful of this job. I accomplished a lot at this job. But man, the managers are ruining this job for me. So if you're a regular on my channel, lately I've been talking about wanting to hit 20,000 subscribers. As soon as I hit 20,000 subscribers, I could do a lifted minivan build so what does that mean? I do a lifted minivan build so that'll make more content for my channel because of course I'm going to document it and go on trips with my lifted minivan build. So there's a plan. Yes, as, um, as much as I've accomplished here, I'm still dreaming bigger in life. And that's most people. A lot of us will start at a place like this or stop by at a place like this. And as you work at a place like this, you're going to get... Your, your mind's going to change, you know, you're going to have other goals. Or maybe you'll be treated so well that you're going to say, you know what, I want to retire here. I'm fine with that. See, man, if management remained cool, I would be there right now. But see, that's the thing, man. Did it take management treating me like crap for me to want to do better with my life? But that's a whole nother topic. I'm glad I'm doing this versus being in debt. I rather, I rather be at this job and not be in debt with college and do cool stuff like lifted van builds. So that's the lesson of the day, everyone. Don't get one of them arts degrees. Get a degree that will benefit you in life. And if you're thinking about one of those worthless degrees, keep your van. Work a normal job, keep your van, build it up, go out on adventures, take advantage of your youth when you can. Alright everyone, have a good one.